our favorite Saints player than with a dish called Who Dat Shrimp right here at Mr. John's Steakhouse. Hi, Mr. Paul. Hey, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm doing well, thanks. Thank you so much for having us. It's our pleasure to have you. Okay, so some call you Mr. Paul, but I've heard Uncle Paul. I am known as Uncle Paul. Who is Mr. John? Mr. John uh, was a very, very good friend of mine, and he was a great man. He started in the shoe shine business and became sort of a, a, a magnet. He, he owned properties all over the city, a wonderful, generous man. And uh, when we took over the restaurant, we decided to pay tribute to his honor and, and continue the name Mr. John's. So this is one of the best steakhouses. Mm, I think the best. Okay, okay, I think you might be right. Okay, the best steakhouse on the streetcar line in New Orleans. But we're here today because a special someone told me about the Who Dat Shrimp. One of our favorites is our probably the best appetizer that we serve. People love it. If you want, we can go to the kitchen and, and see how it's made. I can't wait to get in the kitchen with Archie and Chef Jordan. Let's go. This is your most famous app, right? Yes, definitely. By far. What are we making? A Houdat Shrimp. And who created Houdat Shrimp? It's so unique. CP3 or Chris Paul. He's the, one of the famous uh, Pelicans players, or the Hump, Hornets, back when we had the Hornets. He came in to eat one night, and uh, he wanted a barbecue shrimp, but he wanted something different, something with a little Louisiana flavor. We started as a special with the crab meat stuffed shrimp, wrapped with uh, applewood sm smoked bacon, and uh, a little triple secret uh, Thai chili glaze Ooh. that we put on top of there. I like secrets. Delicious. Secret sauce. And uh, that's what sets it apart. Chef Jordan, I love Archie's story about who created the Houdat shrimp. So what, what do we have? Locally sourced Louisiana Gulf shrimp, uh, crab dressing, the most decadent crab dressing, I might add, butter, holy trinity, all of the works that Louisiana is known for. And bacon wrapped anything's incredible. And so these Louisiana shrimp, they're beautiful. What do you like about the Louisiana seafood? The freshness, the local feel about it. You have everything from local families harvesting to local families selling. So it's good to support the local history that Louisiana has and just their seafood culture. Yeah, well, I know you're a Houdat fan. Absolutely. We got a Houdat shrimp. Have to. Let's move on to what you have back here. So this is not just a vat of onions. This is a vat of crystal hot sauce marinated onions. Do at least, I would say, four containers a week that we wow. sell here just at Mr. John's alone. That's a lot of onions. Besides the Houdat shrimp, of course, the onions are another big, big seller for Mr. John's. So simply take them out of your crystal hot sauce. So Louisiana, I love it. We're coming straight to our AP flour. Okay. Give it a light dusting. So after we get the crystals, hot sauce, onion rings marinated and breaded, we're going straight from the AP flour to floating them in uh, 375 degree fry. Onion rings out of the fryer. Pot to sell, sit under the window. Ah, uh, those look amazing, Chef. Thank you so much. We're plating. This is my favorite part. So chef. first we're going with the Thai sweet chili sauce. This is the secret Little sauce. Little secret sauce for your plate. Then we're gonna come back with our Houdat shrimp. Tails all facing the same way, of course. Nice color on our bacon also. Yeah, that's amazing. And then this is in-house Chipotle Ramelot. Balance out the flavor of that sweet Thai sauce. Yeah, you, the sweet meets the savory. Garnish with a little green onion, and then we're gonna dress our plate up a little Mr. John's Love. Thank you so much, they look wonderful. I can't wait to try them in the dining room with Uncle Paul. Well, let's get in there. This is, the, this is the best steakhouse in town. It's the most fun. I love the Houdat shrimp. It's the first place that I've ever had. It's wrapped in the bacon. It's great. You are not going to find a better steak in New Orleans, nor in Louisiana, and I venture to say, nor anywhere else in the United States of America. This is like a traditional feeling steak. There is just something fantastic and unique about being at Mr. John's. Cheers. Cheers to you. This looks amazing. It's beautiful. So you're predominantly known as a steakhouse, but you have a lot of wonderful seafood too. 
Sure, I mean, New Orleans is known for seafood and, and there's no way that we couldn't uh, live without it. It's delicious, it's amazing. The crab meat, the bacon is um, just wonderful. The shrimp mm. is huge. You can definitely see where the sweet meets the savory. It's just so rich in flavor, it's perfect. Well, these look delicious. Yes, oh uh, well, you gotta have more than one. You can't just eat one. Wow. Yeah, in, in our attempt to, to always, you know, create things and be a little different, we took what normally are on, onion rings and uh, we, we did the shoestring variation, put a little crystal hot sauce. Again, trying to be local and it's, a, it's really popular. People love them. Crystal hot sauce is definitely a tradition in my house. So I love that you incorporated this in your thinly sliced onion rings and they're marinated. You can taste like the hint, but you can right. savor that salty flavor. And if you love onion rings, you're gonna love these. Archie told me how Houdat shrimp was created. But how was it named? We have a great relationship with the Saints. And you know, if I, as I think back, you know, Steve Gleason is my son-in-law and uh, he started bringing his, his teammates in. He brought Drew, Brittany one night, then he would bring his friends like Scott Fujita and his in the, in the running backs. And then we created a buzz. And so people wanted to be around. They heard that the Saints were coming. So obviously they wanted to come be, be around th those guys. Desi befriended Sean. And we, we just kept, kept having those people come in all the time. And it, just, it helped our business and helped us become successful. And we, we maintained that relationship so much that when Steve was given the Super Bowl ring, we had the party here. So we closed that night. I love and, that. And we had, I mean, it was a hundred and something people. And he was surprised. I told him we were just going to dinner and the look on his face was phenomenal. Speaking of the Saints, they are killing it this season. Oh, I think so we excited. can go all the way. Let's hope so. I think you're right. Well, maybe some of your guests will be able to catch the Saints right here at Mr. John's. Yeah. But cheers to them, the cheers. New Orleans Saints. Let's who that?